Christians for Fuerunt Alii. All right, this is a nice little chunk. There were others. Subject, verb. Nice. Simile samentii. These are genitive singular. And this is called a genitive of description. It really isn't possessive of similar madness. He's talking about Christians here. Remember, this is Pliny writing to the Emperor Hadri Hadrian. Close. Now, I'm going to translate this whom because I can see this is accusative. It's going to be a direct object. And whom is our version of the accusative? Whom, here's a little chunk here, because quia means since. Right there, since they were Roman citizens. And this term, kiwis romani, that's a technical term, and it's very important, because if you're a Roman citizen, it gives you protections, rights, and privileges that other people do not have. Ad notabe. I marked down in urbem, a little chunk there, okay, got a verb there. I marked down, and here's your do. I marked down whom? I marked down these people. Remitendos. Ooh, gerundiv. That's a beauty, and you're going to see this works really nicely because it's going back and it's agreeing with quos. And why is it so far apart? It's because Pliny wants to make a point whom, since they were Roman citizens, I marked down they ought to be sent back in urbem into the city. Ad notawe in urbem remitendos. And in essence, this whole part here is what we call predicative. So it uh, starts out with who we're talking about, what we're doing, and then the result. They should be sent back in urbem, into the city. In urbem remitendos. Mox ipso tractatu. This is a nice little chunk here. Soon. And tractatu is the legal process. Ipso is the intensive pronoun by the legal process itself. Ut fieri solat. Nice little aside, nice chunk here. As, and this ut is the different ut. There's two uts. One introduces purpose and result. That is not this ut. Why? Because solat is indicative, not subjunctive. And so, this is not a purpose or result clause. This means as. And I've got an annotation on that. As is accustomed to happen. There's that irregular verb. Fio fieri factosum ut fieri solet. As is accustomed to happen. De fundente se crimine. This little guy is an ablative absolute. Nice little chunk there. De fundente is a present active participle. P-A-P. Um, as the crime spread itself. Oh, nice. Notice how this is sandwiched in between the noun and the participle that modifies it. Plure species inquiderunt. Many variations came to my attention. All right. So what Pliny is describing here is really interesting. It's called the copycat effect in uh, criminal investigations. Once people get wind of the fact that Christians are getting in trouble and kind of uh, thumbing their noses at the Roman authorities, different variations happen. People catch on and they start to copycat that crime. Very weird. Amazing that this is described 2,000 years ago, and it's still being study, studied by um, legal authorities now.